video I share with you how to be quick as fire, fast as wind, with little or no damage at all for this boss fight. For this boss fight, I recommend using the fireproof mental vessel for spells. You can use immobilize spell, cloud step, cloud of many, and up to you the choice of transformation spell. I will keep quiet now for you to watch the cutscene. But now my luck has returned. My savior appeared here right in front of me. Should you extend your mercy to save my family? Uh, I'll repay your kindness at any cost. Master got it right. The last story goes out to us. Uh, I can't go back. Please don't leave me. And you watch now. Before the fight begins, activate your fireproof mental vessel. I recommend attacking quick as fire boss. Eliminate him first, then it's easier for you to take down fast as wind. Do take note that quick as fire inflicts fire damage, and fast as wind inflicts wind and frost damage. This boss fight is actually easy because at certain times during the fight, they are not attacking you at all, but you just need to avoid getting or stepping over the fire. The good thing about the vessel of fireproof mantle, it helps to build up your focus over time. Why I'm running around because I want to see fast as wind in front of me. I don't want him to be behind of me and attack me, which I can't avoid or unable to dodge at the right time. So you need to be patient and find the right opportunity to land your light attacks on quick as fire. And do be careful to dodge at the right time. At some point in time in this boss fight, Quick as Fire will stop fighting if you complete the enemy's fire, so that is a chance maybe to land some attack. Not to worry when you see there's a lot of fire on the ground, because fast as wind ulti is that he will actually blow out the fires. There, can you see that? All the fires on the ground are gone, but then he will blow out the new fires on the ground. I use Cloud Step to avoid getting hit, and also trick fast as wind, so that he can attack Quick as Fire. Try to land as many effects as you can. Don't forget to mention this earlier. With the latest relic that you receive, choose the option to immobilize multiple targets in time. I'm actually also finding the opportunity to immobilize them when they get the most of each other. This looks like they're close enough to each other, so I will use the immobilize spell. This is a chance to deal as many damage as you can to put the fire. I choose this spirit attack boss when the spirit boss will attack surrounding enemies. Even enemies behind you will be infected with damage. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to attack quick as fire safely without getting any damage. Just be patient. I use a fly spell. One quick as fire is defeated. It return drops on it, so when you attack, it bounces back. So when the rolling head is defeated, the flying head will come dashing downwards towards you. So that is actually your chance and opportunity to attack. I use cloud step. Perform charge heavy attack. To find the right one. So just repeat these steps. If you have a fly spell, easy, then you can attack and finish him. If not, you can just use top that and charge if you attack.
about it in this video. If you enjoy watching the video, do give me a like, subscribe, and subscribe, and see you again in the next boss fight.